Hello folks, this is Anthony Valentine and Camper Nerd. Uh, yes, uh, recently I've been asked to upload and review a lot more motorhomes than my business has been able to uh, keep up with as such. So I have got a back catalogue of videos off my sales catalogue at campernerd.com. So this is the first of those. This is an Auto Cruise Vista 2000 year. So uh, I won't be doing any drone footage today as such, but I hope you still enjoy it because I've still got the full video footage from the outside as well as the inside for you to enjoy. So yes, this is a 16 foot model, quite a short wheel span. I uh, hope you enjoy it. I'll carry on now with the outside part. Hello, welcome to this short video of this Autocruise Vista 2000. This is Anthony Valentine, your camper nerd. 0798 526 1078 for any questions I've just taken this in part exchange on a newer model it's delightful it really is a lovely example it was dry stored by its last owner loved and cherished mega service history and file it's MOT'd I think till July 2020 just a couple of advisories on a brake binding but not serious. This is just lovely, inside and out. That's how it's come. I've not polished it. All I've done is just washed it after a hundred mile journey back and it drove wonderful. 1.9 turbo diesel, power steering. Let's have a little zoom in. Four matching Michelin tyres. Absolutely lovely. Four matching Michelin tyres. So you've got the fresh water, the mains hook up, the carver. Always oh, even left you two propane bottles in, that's very nice. Underneath the condition is just lovely all the way round. While rear we'll get the uh, bonnet open. Yeah, just as you want to find it, heavy duty engine battery. Certainly no sign of uh, corrosion. The engine's all nice and dry as you'd like to find it. What's it say there? Serviced on the 12th of the first 18. Next service due at 75,000. It's on 73,000 now. Uh, that's a a cherished number that stays on the vehicle M12 TCR but you may wish to change that free of charge um, and then I think she will be on a W prefix but you can check that it was registered I think on February 2000 I'll be putting all the details and the history on it yeah it really is nice this We've got an outside wet room, as it were. Access for the leisure battery. Yeah, I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country. Just pick up the phone, just a hundred pounds to secure, and I will personally drive this anywhere in the country. All I ask, if you purchase it, to pay by the normal methods, and uh, just give me a lift to the train station. That's it. Everything's working as it should do. It's just a nice, small, compact example. Yeah, a very small footprint. I'll put the measurements on, but it utilises both the front seats, the captain seats, so it's utilising all that space. Let's step inside. We've got the rear step. So yes, let's step inside. So yes, stepping inside. You can see it's the same story 
absolutely wonderful condition so it's got the L-shaped lounge so what we have is a little lever here we click the lever up pull that out with a drawstring that pulls out and that makes into a large double bed that cushion comes over here that flops into position there these are velcroed onto there but you can pull those off if you so wish you've got the cushion there that, that brings in this lever here comes out to extend the back side or the rear side of the bed and then upstairs we've got the fill-in cushion let's put some lights on so we've got the leisure battery panel as it were we've got the main supply we'll just put it on the van so that's the leisure battery let's put some lights on there we go nice reading lights fluorescent lights have I missed any one above the kitchen sink and that one's already on Fatford flush toilet we'll put the pump on and demonstrate the waterworks working so you've got cold running water hot as well as the shower unit that just clips down over there I can demonstrate that for you there we go yeah lovely area and the shower unit and toilet very clean shower tray original mat no marks in the shower tray so that's your toilet so that's fully green there so that demonstrates that the Fetford cassette is empty just turn that pump off I've actually just changed a couple of the uh, buttons on this one it was just a shame that a couple were letting it down so I've replaced them all So as I say, this one is actually for sale on Campaneer.com. I took this in part exchange on a later vehicle. The last owner's clearly looked after it. Let's put the water pump on again there. Hot. Cold. four burner gas hobs so we'll just turn it on there use the igniter everything working nicely as it should just stretch over to put the other two on there we go so the condition of this for a 2000 model it's 19 years old it's just absolutely fantastic. Grill, I don't know where I can get the angle of the... Uh, can we just about see the blue flames there on the grill? Again, everything's spotless. Oh, our stone has left you some baking trays. will stand up to a fussy inspection we've even got some winter covers there for the front of the cab so the wardrobe wardrobe space for your clothes let's 
space under the kitchen sink. More space and the isolation switches for the gas works. So we've got a Dometic three-way fridge. So we've got the green, that means it's plugged into the mains now because I've just come back to my unit to do the inside part of this uh, video. That will light up red when you're driving, so that's 12 volts when you're driving. That will fridge up nicely on 12 volts. When you're plugged into a main supply, it will fridge up nicely on mains. And you've also got the wild camping option, which is a gas. So let's just uh, try and operate that now. It's a bit fiddly with the camera. Yep, there's a blue flame. Just about see that on the video camera. And then that will uh, fridge it up as it were, if you're wild camping. So you've got the freezer department. Just turn the gas off, back onto mains. Same condition throughout this vehicle. All your knives and forks. So we've got a 12, a 240 volt socket there. I think there's one up there as well. Nice little touches, water cruise clock. A lot of nice little features. All the windows opening as they correctly should do. We've got the blackout blinds as well as the fly nets. So we've got a whale space heater. So we just operate that, not on cool, the, to the heat. So that's on the flame setting. We've got the temperature set up now. And then that will space heat there so we've got the central heat coming through that vent that vent and also if necessary for the vent in the shower room that's working as it should do we've got the gas fired hot water system the carver hot water so you can have hot running water when you're wild camping on gas or alternatively we have it on mains so that's on mains Both. we've got the large hikey roof light as it were we've got the blackout blinds the fly nets and then we just push those levers across there the lock lever and then that should stay up just one word of advice if you ever buy one of these just check that that stays up what if it doesn't stay up that these need replacing the gas struts and they're not cheap at all a little bit of a fiddly job to fit so just make sure that stays up. If it doesn't, you can individually get the gas struts separately and purchase them and fit them. Just be warned of that. So yes, this uses both the captain's seats on the driver and the passenger, quite useful. So it's using the full cab area and making use of that space. We've got the curtain rail all the way across the top. Nice wood inlays on the dashboard and in the doors. 73,000 miles. It drives lovely. Five speed manual. I don't think there's not any evidence of it being smoked in or any pets inside. It's just clean all the way through. Yeah, so it's got over mats over the original auto cruise mats, which are just lovely. You can pull these up and use the lino floor if required. But yeah, it really is a nice example. This. So just to recap, it's a 2000 auto cruise Vista 1.9 turbo diesel. I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country by myself. I'll drive it to you for inspection. If you're happy, all I ask for is a lift to the nearest train station. I can't be more thorough or more confident than that. I'll fully demonstrate everything working. So my number's 0798 526 1078. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. I'll be happy to answer any questions 
by text or email. Thanks for looking and watching this video. So yes, this video footage was from an earlier sold vehicle that I sold at Campaner.com. So I decided to share this with you for any people who are wishing to look at an Autocruise Vista. Because again, I've been asked to upload a lot more video and reviews of different motorhomes and camper vans. So hopefully I'll be doing that a lot more regular in 2020. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.